Hey folks, we're back here once again for another stream. Uh, a lovely evening here on Friday. Uh, not like the rain-soaked Thursday that we had here, but uh, things are a little bit nicer. I don't know how much that's going to change for tomorrow, but uh, we'll be streaming some Wii U stuff tomorrow to, I don't know, not really celebrate, but send off the, the Wii U eShop in grand fashion. The 3DS, I do not have a means for really streaming that, so that's just going to have to, you know, be the uh, other part of it, but this, uh, what, I click, was that click, um, I closed it, what? Oh, did I accidentally hit quit when I was trying to click on the game? Oh, well, there you go for the fun bit there, but, all right, there we go. Not a, not a long load. Uh, this is Storyteller, the newest Annapurna Interactive game. That was weird. Um, I was in the options, because I was trying to see, it's one of those games where if I click away, the game, you know, disappears. And resets the music every time. That is weird. Also, how do I get back out of here? Because that's what I think closed it. Okay. It puts this up here, but uh, yeah, we're playing some Storyteller uh, while we're waiting for uh, Diablo 4. You can see here the queue is going for a while. Uh, I'm going to reload some things here just real quick. Uh, so that's going to... See? As I told you, the music... Uh, but Storyteller is cool. It is a narrative adventure game. I'm a, I think we should be good here. I don't think anything's going to cover up the game itself. Uh, it's a narrative puzzle game, I would say. Well, it'll it'll be explained here. Uh, let's see. At the end of this book lies a crown, is bestowed only to the finest storytellers of the realm. Every page is empty, save for a tile. Is your duty to fill these pages with the most captivating tales. Complete this book and prove yourself worthy of the title of storyteller. Uh, so yeah, this is out on Switch and PC right now. I got the Steam version right here, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, it's sort of a, a storytelling book. Uh, let me, feel free to let me know if I need to adjust any audio stuff, but I do have a means for that here, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit. But it gives you like a little, you know, thing here of like, Adam starts alone. Adam, so I guess put him here. Oh, geez. Uh, finds, uh, finds love and dies happy. That ends that one. What's this saying here? Oh. Can I just go on to the next one here? Okay. Eve dies heartbroken. Uh, death? <laughs> what? Oh, so they need to be here and in love. And so then... She's heartbroken, then she dies. You have him here, because why not? He's in his ghostly form, you know, the famous ghostly form of the Bible. Uh, seeing the ghost of a lover. Ooh. Okay, so we need to establish that they love each other. Uh, then there's a death why don't we do this? And then... I don't know. There we go. So you can change things around. You don't have to be as strict as like what happened on the previous pages. So we finished chapter one. And I believe this is the sort of game where there'll be alternate ends. I do like the audio stuff here. As you can see, we got a ways to go. The ceremony, yes, let's... What? Oh. Oh. There we go. Somehow I clicked all the way to the end. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, let's do... A heartbreak is healed. Alright, how are we going to do this? 
have and Lenora. Let's have him die. Then a wedding with her and Bernard. Okay. Without any deaths. Ooh. How do we do that? Uh, for the alternates. Okay, so... Yeah, she explains that. And he gets... There we go. Like, these two love each other, get married, I guess. She tells him that she cannot marry him. But he finds his own love. So, that's a cool solution there. Oh, uh, let's see. Heartbreak is healed. Ooh, another one? Oh, these two. Okay. Uh, but that these two love each other... Okay. Uh, then... Death, then... Uh... There we go. Yeah, I forgot that was a whole thing. There's a demo for this a while back. I was like, oh, you can swap these things out. And it changes the context of them. It's like, that doesn't change anything. It's like, why is she getting revived? And it's like, oh, that... There you go. But she doesn't realize that she has been revived. I don't know. There. Everyone rejects Edgar. Oh, no, Edgar. Um. No, how do you... Or no... Is that Bernard and her? Then... Uh, no, we get him dying. So that then she gets heartbroken. Then she gets married to Isabel. Then... Edward breaks her heart. Hmm. How does everybody reject Edward? I guess we could have Bernard and Isabel get married. Okay, so let's get Bernard and Isabel. That'd be a thing here. Uh, yeah, that's the thing here. Everyone rejects Edward. Have that happen right away. Then we don't have a revival, though. Hmm. I'd have to just get rid of these right now. And she gets mad at him. Then, then she dies. Is that does that count as rejection? Doesn't seem like it. Um. He gets rejected there. Oh boy, then she dies. Get rid of that, then she rejects him. So you've solved that problem. Then, or no, want Isabel and her to fall in love. Then he gets rejected by Isabel. Then also gets rejected by Bernard. Boom. We did it. Uh-oh. 
Every cut. There we go. So that's good. Surviving spouses find comfort. Stories can use fewer frames. Oh, that's good. So. And then we have. Death of. Or no. That'd be him and her. And it's like, oh, you don't need to use all the frames. So that completes all that, and we got the extra one there, so. Apparitions. I suspect this isn't like a terribly long game. Uh, so that's why I'm kind of doing this here. Uh, let's see. Edgar shocks himself. Oh, geez. Um, I'm guessing this is the ghost one. Then he dies, and then... Uh, no, maybe he dies. Okay. Then it's like, ah, oh, you don't even need other people. I can just get rid of it that way? Okay. Um, oh no, I need that. To confirm that we've rejected by their own spouse. Uh, let's see. That would seem to suggest we should have these two married, rejected by own spouse. Uh, so have Edgar die. Then Lenore and Isabel get together. Edgar revives. As I said, we don't need all the frames, so... Then Edgar dies again. Is that a solution? Okay, no. Um, it's like, what? How did he die? Why do I care? Oh, is this? And he dies again. You don't even need this to solve it, really. Heartbroken spouses are reunited. Okay, then we have a death. Lenora. Then I guess you have her revive. Are they supposed to put... Are both of them supposed to be... Hmm. He dies. And nobody's around. And then they get together again. Or I could probably have... Is there a means for... Because the right, right, tri right mouse button closes that. Like, what? Like, you're changing how the relationships of these two people change, so... There should be a copy ability, which I don't... There's not even really... I'm trying to think here. Like, there's nothing here about, you know, controls, so I think this is a pretty simple game. Heartbreak for everyone. Cool, let's do that. They're good. Uh, then she comes back. She gets into it with Isabel. Uh, then this. And then she dies and she gets heartbroken. That's, no, he gets heartbroken. How do we get... So this one's useless. These two...
I guess we could have this as being she gets... Yeah, she doesn't get heartbroken as a result of that. So that doesn't make any sense. He gets heartbroken. She comes back. They get in love. And then... Or no, maybe this is... Then he and her get together. That breaks her heart. And then Isabel, there we go. That's how we do it. That's how we spread the misery. Oh, it's at one minute left, which when I tried this earlier that, uh, today, it essentially aired out. So we'll see what happens here. But yeah, I'm liking this game a lot. Lenora drinks poison. Cool. Her? Uh, she gets that. And then the poison scene. Now it's at less than one, set, one minute. Just started at about 30 minutes. So in about 20 minutes it's been... Or 16 minutes for this video. It's been... Going down about two minutes every minute, so... Okay. Double poison. So, Romeo and Juliet. Uh, let's see here. She dies. He takes to the poison. She revives. She's like, hey, what's up? Finds that he's died, and then takes the poison. Boom, got an achievement. Romeo and Juliet, yep. Man, that's been at less than a minute for about a minute now. So wait, we'd have missed one, right? Someone drinks poison twice. Ooh. That means make him the one that comes back, then he does it again. Boom. Oh, we're actually at a thing, which, okay. Uh, I'm not going to start it just yet. I'm hoping it doesn't time us out. If it has, let's see. That means I'm just going to turn off this. Yeah, you weren't missing too much real estate here. It's just cutting off what these things were, which we haven't had this much. Isabel remarries. Okay, so... Isabel, Edgar, uh, let's see, he dies, what, does this mean they get divorced? wine for her then she gets it with her oh she's still married hmm this is weird uh let me just double check what's on here this is all like accessibility or text to speech stuff want scale it's already set at large so that's cool Green shake, no, I don't need that. Strobing. Okay, I think we're about ready to go as long as it doesn't time me out. Okay, Isabel, what are you doing does this need to be here is that there just for no real reason is this for her to do this he's like why would I kill myself is this the fight then 
But he's still like, why would I kill myself? Does that fuel that? Hmm. Because her and her, can I get married yet? Is that then that? To figure out how he do they both drink is that that they both get drunk and then this and then he kills I don't I'm not sure what the purpose of the wine stuff is. Uh, does that mean sheep drinks that? And then... She's... Yeah, Isabel remarries. Maybe put her in the picture. But yeah, then if I put it this, they're mad at each other. But they have no reason to do anything okay so if he an achievement called Werther I don't know what this one's tough. Hmm. Wrath. Mm -hmm. Isabel remarries. Maybe it's just this? So we establish that they do not like each other. Then... He drinks, he poisons, no? What else do we have to do here? Yeah, but what situation here gets us to this point? That's the the big question. So that doesn't seem like it. He's just chilling with his wine. They get into a fight. She still doesn't want to kill herself. Maybe that goes to here. Way to put that poison in the wine would be nice. Yeah, the wine, I don't know what the purpose of the wine is. That's the thing here. Hmm. 
And I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it feels like I'm missing a thing here for what purpose the wine serves. Like, does that make this worse? Ooh, conniving. Does that make the the wine poison there? Is this she has a very conniving tone? There we go. Okay. So they get in love, they get in a fight, then you put the, the person that's going to kill the other one here. And she's like, ooh, I'm going to get her. We probably don't even need this one. There you go. Isabel commits a crime. I mean, we just did that, but okay. Oh, these two get it. Yeah, we don't have the fight scene yet, so I'm guessing we go... Then the poison. It's like, well, I gotta poison Edward, because I can't get, get my girl. Or no, the wine. But everyone meets their demise. Oh, that's... And... There we go. That's good. That's good stuff. Uh, so... Wait a second. It's what, 12 chapters? Is that what it is? I don't know what final chapter is. Chapter 12, okay. So 13 chapters. So we'll play one more chapter here. and Like, that'll be good. Uh, it's a $15 game, so not too much. Curses lifted. The Witch on Snow White. Like, ah, oh, I'm a princess. And he kisses her. Great job. Prince saves Tiny. What? Uh, here. Nope. Uh, Tiny. Do we need another forest scene where these two are together? And she kisses Tiny. He kisses Tiny. Prince saves Tiny. Yeah, they, they kiss. So, n neither one's willing to do the deed? Prince saves Tiny, hmm. Uh, let's see then. It's like, oh, I'll definitely... Nobody wants to kiss the witch. Um, uh, 
He's willing to kiss the prince. And then these two? Prince saves Tiny. Tiny. Tiny loves anybody. Except for her. That's a good laugh there. He just wanted to do that for him. Nope, they can't kiss each other. Oh. Uh, so there's technically only one. Wait. Run into that. She laughs at the frog. Prince saves Tiny. He says, screw you. Yeah, she's not willing to do anything. Yeah, hmm. But it's Prince saves Tiny, so we have to have Tiny and him get kissing. We have him do that, and then he finds out about her. There, so we trick him. She's like, "I'm, I'm the princess." He's like, "Ooh, I'll, I'll get with that frog," and then does this. I always, it's good that this game isn't like freaking out. Uh, all right, we'll finish this up here, which becomes the mirror's favorite. All right, cauldron. The, the frog's still super hot. Okay, and then we just swap these. It's like, oh yeah, you're super hot now. Good job. All right, mirror praises everyone. It's like, oh, you're super hot. Haiti, peachy, froggy, and Haiti. He doesn't like Cliff. What is the cliff here? I was like, ah, oh, you're great. And then the cliff, the frog pushes him off. No, then he has to go here. Frog's like, no, you suck. Um, or no, maybe no praises her. I think we have to work our way around to it. So she's gone. 
Frog's like, no. He's super confident now. Need the frog to be told that Do we need need this to praise her to praise Peachy then um that let's see here he pushes her off now he gets love the frog doesn't like just go down And he's happy because he hasn't been told any of this. Pushes her off. We have another. Okay. We get rid of this. Okay, then this is good. This is not a thing I realized the ghost stuff could work. Or no, he gets here. This works. And that's that's it, that's five chapters. This is probably a game you can probably beat in a few hours. Uh as evidence by we're uh, nearly, or just over probably like 40% through uh, in about 30 some minutes, but I think it's a, a pretty good look at this game without playing all the way through it. Uh, so I'll have to do that on my own time later, but uh, we'll swap over to Diablo 4 uh, and check out that open beta. Uh, so give me a second for that, but thank you all for tuning in. We'll be back tomorrow with uh, the Wii U send-off stream. So thank you all, have a good one, and we'll see you next time.